it said, I believe it said 181 A.D. And then the guy, what's the guy, the main character, what was his name? Which that guy never existed, man. That's loosely based on um, uh, Septimius Severius. That's who that was supposed to be, Septimius Severius. That dude that never exists. That's why I can't remember his name. I can remember Commodus and um, the other one, the father, Marcus Aurelius. I can remember them because they actually exist. Well, Commodus and his father, um, what's his name again? Marcus Aurelius. They were both Jakes. They were both Israel. Because they were teaching and shining with saying, well, uh, Septimius Severius was the first Jake to come up there and take. No, they, they were Jakes. There were Jakes that was ruling, that was sitting on the throne, man. So this guy, Commodus, was a Jake, man. Yeah, Germania. Uh, Germania. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's the, the first battle, the opening scene. That you the no, no, this is just the opening scene of Gladiator. Yeah, yeah. Khan. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Khan, um, that movie I was talking about was uh, Miracle at Santa Ana. You know, that's a Spike Lee uh, joint, you know, that that um, that basically showed, you know, you had, the, I believe it was during World War II or World War One. you had those uh, Jake uh, uh, soldiers, World War Two. yeah, Jake soldiers, you know, and then one of the Jake soldiers ended up popping, you know, the chick. And he even spoke the Italian language. You know, he was popping the Italian chick, you know. So what do you think happened? Eventually they had a child, and that, that child came out looking lighter. You know, and then that child may get with another uh, uh, Italian woman, and so on and so forth, to, to uh, you can't discern the, uh, uh, that the child is, is a, a, a Jake. It looked like an like a Edomite, you know? So that, that's happened all throughout history. You know, you have Israelites that look like Moabites, Israelites. I don't think it just happened in our time. Back then it was unheard of. Man, there was a lot of mixing going on back there, man. Anyway, let's go back to this, this video. And we gotta be properly, mat scripturally mature enough to deal with these situations, okay? Because you, uh, you know, and they gotta throw we racist. We gotta enough. throw all of that. You're not mature okay, enough. Okay, so we, you're not mature enough because you wouldn't have had to double up in there in the first goddamn place. So that, that shows you that you're not mature enough. Go ahead, Ock. We're, 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 it's, it's, we're dealing with a situation of a brother, who's a, a Gentile, who got kicked out because of that, and he called us once to reach, reach back to us. So we had dealt with this in the past. So, but as a whole, as a nation, this is going to increase because eventually all nations are going to be, a, a, a large portion of Gentiles are going to come to us and say, surely our Father inherited lies. That and things are no profit. That's what the book of Isaiah. That right there, back at the one west, they used to teach that. It's talking about the mother nations. It's talking about Israel, man. Let's go to that and give me that in Jeremiah. You know what it is offhand? Surely our fathers inherited. All right, this is the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter 16, verse 19. It says, O Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. You know, so pretty much that's talking about Israelites because the other nations, their gods are what? Idols. Yeah, so well, that's what they had from the, from the gate. What, what happened? One of the clues is... Uh, Come, shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth. Why? Because the Lord had scattered the Israelites o over what? Over the whole earth. Yep. From one end of the earth. Is, isn't that what it says in the, the curses? Yep. Fr yep. Right. Deuteronomy 28, chapter the 64 verse, which I just read. From one end of the heaven, even unto the other. Yeah, this guy, Baloo, just put a comment. And I knew he was going to put that in there. Uh, as of 304, he said, enjoy the wind chill for like two hours. Laugh out loud. Hey, well, we ain't going to enjoy it, but we're going to be out there dealing with it. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. you, you, you want more on that? Oh, no, that, that, that was it. Uh, the 
comment I wanted to make was uh, one of the clues that the Gentiles here is talking about Israelites is it says that they, the Lord will, uh, they shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, surely our fathers have inherited lies. Whose fathers? The Israelite fathers. Well, that's why it said in Acts, the second chapter, they were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven because they were scattered throughout those uh, uh, nations. And today, it, it, it went even further, you know, because today you have uh, Israelites all the way over to the, on this side of the world. Back then, you know, you had th those uh, um, th that uh, inhabited earth, so to speak, the known world. You had Israelites coming from all different walks of life out there, you know, and they knew they, they were Jews. And then you had others that were scattered that didn't know they were Jews. Just like today, you have... You have uh, uh, among among the, uh, s some of them so-called European countries, you have people that think that they're Irish, that think that they're Scottish, or think that they're, you know, certain other European countries. They, they think that, they, that that's who they are. But when you dig deep in their, in their lineage, their line goes back to Israel. Hey, that's the video. I'll put it buck dancing, right? That's the video. And these look like crackers. And they, but they're getting down. They're playing a the banjo. And there's this old cracker. But he, you can see he's a jake. He had an afro, but he looked like an Edomite with a tan, and he was buck he was bucking his ass off, man. <laughs> hey, but I'm gonna show you the video, man. Actually, you're gonna have to put it up anyway in a post production, man. I'm looking at the dude, and I'm like, this, this dude's a, this dude's a Jake right here, man. Yeah, you're gonna see. That's what the scripture says: the uh, spirit, the spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the sons of the living power. You know, so I mean. You guys, you know, you just stuck on stupid. You know, a lot of you guys are just stuck on stupid. You see the color of somebody's skin, and you think automatically that they're a heathen. You know, and for the most part, sometimes we look at people and say, yeah, that, that's a crack, until you start talking to them and knowing and, and, and seeing their vibe and their spirit. Well, yeah, with, with the case with Cornelius. When Peter first came to Cornelius, he didn't exactly just, hey, come here, brother, let me hug you. You know, he was standoffish. But then as he kept talking with Cornelius, and Cornelius explained the situation, <laughs> you know, Cornel <laughs> Cornelius explained the situation, right? That's when he knew, he said, yeah, this, this brother's an Israelite. This is an Israelite, you know? I'm in the presence of an Israelite. So, you know, and like I said, I'm going to say it again, um, Elder Gabar, you call yourself Elder Gabar. You, you're nobody to talk, man. I mean, you don't exactly look like a straight-up Hebrew Israelite. You look like an Arab, all right? That's what you look like. So you, so you shouldn't be ragging on anybody, all right? <laughs> but, but, but they'll say that's a cracker. Oh, yeah. They'll say that's a <laughs> yeah. cracker. I mean, yeah, he's getting is, down. He's getting grooming, down. man. <laughs> you know, just like we put up a, 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 um, a thing of uh, Tom Jones. You know, back then, you know, right. we had put up some, some uh, another brother had put some stuff up. We put other uh, our videos. That be you in another 40 years. And <laughs> we still here, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, shit. You know, and, and Tom Jones was getting down, man. Shit, Tom Jones could dance better than some of you guys. You know? And he's Probably all of them guys. Yeah, he danced better than all of you guys. I mean, they one, one thing he was getting down so much, man, the people... Bitches in the in the audience <laughs> is going crazy, you know. You had you had some. And it, even some now, while I'm listening to the music, even that music, probably you know. The dude got one blue and white sock on and one red and white sock. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know, looking at that dance, which you you're gonna see it on screen, you you brothers. Uh, it reminds me of the Irish jig. It reminds me of the Irish jig. Yeah, that dude ain't no. He ain't even breathing hard, man. Right, he's just and doing he's his like, thing. He's just doing the jig. He's in the pocket. <laughs> like, like they say, the drummers when the drummer gets that groove going, and he ain't turning it loose. Like James Brown used to say, "Don't turn it loose, cause it's a bother." Hey, they they say that. Oh, this guy's in the pocket. I mean, he's he's there. You know, he, he's he's doing his thing. You know, and that's a jig thing, man. I mean, Jeremiah shall him, all right? So uh, let's go into, um, uh, let's go to Luke. Luke chapter 7. Let's see what Luke 7 says. Chapter 7, verse 
One? Yeah, okay, let's see what it says there. Okay, let's see. Uh, right, hey, that's a good example. Okay, let's read. This is the book of Luke chapter 7, verse 1. Now, when he had en ended all his sayings in the audience of the people, he entered into Capernaum. And he and a certain centurion servant who was dear unto him was sick and ready to die. And he, when he heard of Yeshia, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he will come and heal his servant. And when they came to Yeshia, they besought him instantly, saying that he was worthy of whom he should do this. For he loved our nation, and he had built us a synagogue. So you had certain Romans. Now, not all Roman soldiers were Roman Edomites. A lot of them were Africans. A lot of them were Arabians. A lot of them were, and, and, and some of them were, 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 were Edomites. So, some of them were Israelites too. You forgot, you forgot one nation, the Israelites. A lot of them were Israelites, man. A lot of them were Israelites. We'll just bring up bring up the, uh, the 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 Jake that was under uh, 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 a type type. Look him up. Look him up. Then you had the Israelite. because they, they're reading out of Luke seven about this uh, centurion. That was an Israelite man. That was an Israelite. Yeah, this, this, this guy is deceptive, man. He, he's talking about no. Well, no well, he's only doing what his overlord is saying to do. Which is a yeah. uh, uh, recall. Yeah, you're talking about the horns that might pop up on the mother nation. Well, the you horns, see the horns popping, popping up, up on him. Pop, popping up on them. On, on him, yeah. On, on, on uh, inspect the clue. So, I'm gonna say this about this 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 cat, Elder Gabar. This this guy, the GOCC. He comes off as being sincere, but he's sincerely wrong. He's sincerely wrong. If he's sincere. Right. You got it up? Yep. Go ahead. This is uh, Tiberius Julius Alexander, uh, first century, was an equestrian governor and general in the Roman Empire. Uh, this is, it says... It Khan. Khan. Um, he said he was born into a wealthy... Before you read on, this is around about the time of 70 A.D. Because he, he was the one that led the charge to uh, come against Israel. And you're going find to out, find out something about this guy. Which proved that you had Israelites in higher positions during the time of the apostle Paul and them. During the time of uh, the apostles. You had, when your Howard Shaw was on the scene, you had Jakes that high, had higher positions, man. Like they do now. In this society right now, Babylon, who's the, pre who's the highest guy of the land? Barack Obama. You have Jake judges. You have p police chiefs among Jake in this society. You got, uh, you got uh, uh, senators. You got uh, Congress people. You got mayors. This is, um, it says, uh, this is, Again, Tiberius Julius Caesar, I mean, J Tiberius Julius Alexander. He said he w basically he was a, a governor and general in the Roman Empire, born into a wealthy Jewish family of Alexandria that was in Egypt, but abandoning or neglecting the Jewish religion. So he, he was basically like a heathen, but he knew he was an Israelite. He said he rose to become procreator of Judea for... He knew he was an Israelite. There was Israelites out there that didn't know that they were Israelites, that maybe they were some form of black Greek or something, that found out, that woke up to the fact that they're Israelites. Case in point, this uh, centurion that this, this cat is reading about in Luke 7. He says um, he was procreated of Judea uh, uh, 46 to 48 A.D. under Claudius. While prefect of Egypt, 66 to 69 A.D., he employed his legions against the Alexandrian oh. Jews. Who employed his legions? Uh, uh, Tiberius uh, Julius Alexander. 
It says legions with an S, plural. How, what, how much is one legion? Anywhere from five to 7,000 men. So this guy was a top-ranking general. He had charge over thousands of soldiers, and he was a Jake. That's why ultimately they became, the Jakes became Caesars, man. He employed his legions against the Alexandrian Jews in a brutal response to ethnic violence. And was and it was instrumental, it said and, and was instrumental in the Emperor Vespasian's rise to power. In 70 AD, he participated in the siege of Jerusalem as Titus second in command. And that's a goddamn lie. That that uh that he that he says that he he was a second he I mean, he was a second in command but he was the one instrumental in setting second in command right. <coughs> by rank That's right. because uh, uh Titus the son of uh, Vespasian he became he was a general because a lot of those em uh, those emperors were generals they they were command commanders captains <coughs> generals different off office offices they became. Part of the Praetorian Guard, um, Senate, a lot of Senate, and what was over Senate was a council, and then the next step above council was was the emperor himself, the Caesar. So that's how Jake got into that that rulership role. Yeah, and the reason why uh, Tiberius Julius Alexander was there was because um, this guy Titus was was a was a greenhorn. You know, he had no experience in them types of battles. So Vespasian, out of all his generals, he got the credit. And and and, and Vespasian, out of all the generals that he could have sent, he sent this this uh, Israelite. You know, and and he was the one instrumental in the siege against uh, Jerusalem. He did a lot of wickedness. You know, against Jerusalem, and he was a top a top dog, and he and he knew he was an Israelite. Yeah, and he knew he was killing his own people. That's right. You know, all my people are wicked men. Yeah, well, look, look at Nate. You know, look yeah, at what yeah. Nate Nate's doing. Yeah, he puts guys uh, that's uh, that's innocent in in the joint. Yep. I got another example for you, uh, Cletus the Black. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Underneath Alexander the Creep. Uh, I'll just go right to the point. Cletus the Black, which he was a Jake, was an officer of the Macedonian army led by Alexander the Gr Alexander the Great, which we call him Alexander the Creep. Uh, he saved Alexander's life at the Battle of Granicus and, and was killed by him in a drunken quarrel several, several years later. <laughs> That's what you get for, for uh, shaking hands with the devil. Uh, Cletus was son of Dropides and the brother of Alexander's nurse. So that's another example of an Israelite in uh, you know, uh, Esau's army, in this case Alexander the Creep. Yeah, because you had Israelites that came up among them Greeks and they took on themselves Greek names. Like if you go to Romans, the 16th chapter, Paul was speaking to all these different saints and they all had Greek names, all right? I think one of them was named Claudia or Claudius. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and it said that, that there's uh, records where there are many uh, of those uh, Israelites, you know, Jews that were in, in Caesar's uh, um, military but they go unrecognized because a lot of them had Greek and uh, Latin names, you know. So if, if a so-called rabbinic source doesn't authenticate them as being a Jew, then it, it goes unrecognized. They don't recognize it. But there were a whole lot of Israelites in in those in in uh, in those uh, um, in, in those uh, in the military of the Romans, just like you got today a bunch of Israelites in in the American um, military, and a lot of them are generals to to. Uh, they have uh, top ranks, you know, drill sergeants, uh, brigadier generals. All right, what's this guy? The the the, the guy that was almost going to be president, the the, the dude from the Colin Powell. He was a top general, man. That's right. That's right. You know, so I mean, all them people that was back there, they were Israelites. But the problem was, you know, you had some of those people. They didn't live in the land of Israel. They lived out outside of the land of Israel. 